All right, welcome everybody to the debut issue of Cobra Unbox. Today I'm going to be looking at a crypto specific item, the Trezor Model T. Many thanks to Nebraskan Gunnar from Elevate Trading for sending this out to me. I really appreciate it, brother. And the links to not only his Twitter, but the Elevate tw Trading Twitter and the website will be in the links in the description below. So right when you open this up here, really nice packaging. I really like this a lot. Uh, it's got a little magnetic latch here. And then right on the front, obviously, it says the uh, safe place to keep your keys. And then on the inside under the get started, it does say, uh, you know, just basic instructions to connect it to your computer, uh, the website that you open up with the browser, and then to follow the instructions that it gives you there. So upon further inspection of this thing, there's another box in here. A uh, little magnetic piece on the back. The thing's completely sealed, as you can see. It's got a nice full screen LED screen. I assume it's a touch screen, and I'm looking forward to being able to put that on the back of my desk. And then in this box here, we've got a USB 3.0 to USB C cable, and that USB C actually connects into the front of the treasure right here, where I haven't unpeeled the sticker yet. So more stuff inside this box. It looks like we've got some swag. Uh, Nebraskan Gooner, shout out again, sent me a couple extra stickers in the package that this whole box was contained in. We've got a startup user manual and then two little slips of paper that you can write down your recovery seeds on once you actually set up your wallets. So step four, obviously the little bonus is the uh, clipping it, the magnetic thing underneath your desk. Uh, and then obviously the little note here, uh, if you need support or anything like that uh, with their website address. All right, let's go ahead and plug this bad boy in. All right, so here on my computer, I'm just gonna go ahead and go to treasure.io.start and you click the model. You also have to peel off the hollow seal, obviously before you can connect it to the computer. So when I did this and I uh, went to continue, it did not locate my device. So I actually had to go and download Trezor Bridge and install that. So I selected my operating system, downloaded that and installed it real fast. It only took about a minute or two. And once I did this, the website and my computer had no issue finding the device. So once I was able to do this, I started going ahead and just refreshing the Trezor itself and then continuing to actually install the firmware. This was a very quick process and just as a side note, it does display everything on the Trezor as you're doing it and because you do have to connect to the internet to download stuff, I highly recommend whenever you're doing anything with digital assets to use private internet access. There's a link in the description below that you can get a free month for that as well. And I also use a separate internet security for my computer as well. I use Kaspersky. So this uh, just went through, installed the firmware, it only took about a minute or two, it was a very quick setup and then you reset the device. So I went ahead and did that, and then uh, let's go ahead and create a new wallet. So I wanted to create just a single wallet, so I you just click Create Wallet, as you can see on the screen. And I didn't wanna do a multi-backup uh, with mine because I'm not sharing wallets or anything like that, so I did a single backup, and then the terms of service is actually displayed on the device itself. So you go through on the device and you read all of that, and then you click OK on the device, and then it's going to lead you to this very next screen after it's done physically preparing the Trezor itself. So the same bar that's displayed on the website is the same bar that's displayed on the device. So now what you're gonna to wanna to do is create a physical backup of the device. So this is the most important part. This is what's going to actually create your private keys for this. So a little notice comes up just advising you, you know, like, don't give it to anybody, don't share it, don't lose it. If you lose it, your keys are lost, you know, don't uh, put it somewhere where it's gonna be exposed to water, fire, flood, or anything like that. So basically you just click the I understand uh, down below and you click the continue button and then all of the uh, mnemonic phrase words are going to be displayed on the device. So you write all of those down and then you're done setting up the device. It will ask you to confirm some of the words randomly, by the way. So you've successfully backed up your device. Congratulations. Now what you do is you enter a pin 
to unlock the device. So this is going to pin, uh, be a pin that only you know so that no one else can actually access the device. Just kind of a second layer of protection here. So you go ahead and enter that. And once you do that, the next page will refresh as well. Good job, your pin is set. Okay, so now it's going to ask you to name a device um, for, for your treasure, just give it a name. I just named mine Cobra. It tells you that it's a fantastic name. Good job. And then it's going to ask you also to bookmark this page in the browser so that you can also get to it at any time. You can also download a backup of this website for your own use so that you can access it offline as well. It asks you to sign up for the newsletter, which is always a good idea to stay up to date with firmware. And then like and subscribe them on Twitter. So then you're going to go to this main page here and I'm gonna make another video later on of creating transactions, signing transactions, and all of that good stuff. As well as I mentioned Exodus before, you can also pair the Trezor wallet with your Exodus wallet. So that's going to be a part two of this little tutorial series. I'm really glad that you guys enjoyed this and I hope you have a wonderful day. All right, everybody, thanks for watching this first edition of Cobra Unboxed. Stay tuned for next time when I do a full unboxing and review of this very microphone, the Audio-Technica AT2020. So if you're looking at getting into doing more stuff like I'm doing, or just streaming, gaming, and looking to upgrade the setup that you currently have, I'm going to be doing this next time. So make sure that you subscribe, like the video, and comment down below. Turn the notifications on so that you can be up to date with all my videos that I do, and check all the links in the description that I mentioned earlier for private internet access, the Trezor, as well as Nebraskan Gooner and Elevate Trading. So check all that stuff out and I will see you next time.